It's one small step for mankind, one giant leap for robots. At least one robot. A 13-inch tall, two-pound robot named Kirobo is set to become the first ever conversational robot to be launched into space. Part of a Japan-based project called Kivo, which means hope, Kirobo has a friend, Mirada, who will remain on Earth helping to monitor the mission. Kirobo, however, is training, as any human would, for the daunting task of being launched into space. For example, getting used to moving around in zero gravity. Kirobo will not be given control of the pod bay doors, but it can be used to relay messages from the control room to Koichi Wakata, the Japanese astronaut on the mission. But Kirobo's real purpose isn't to help man the ship, it's to be a companion. The goal of the Kibo project is to help solve the problems brought about by society that's become more individualized and less communicative. This little Astro Boy lookalike is capable of carrying on conversations in Japanese, recognizing human faces, and improving its conversation skills over time. The idea of using robots as human surrogates has been around for a while and has taken on various forms according to human needs. Recently, I met the telenoids of Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University, which are ageless and genderless hosts for human communication. By connecting it with your phone or a Skype-like program, you can converse with the telenoid as you would a friend or family member, modulating the voice to sound like, say, an older adult man, or my favorite, a sassy baby. Despite the sassiness, it gives good hugs. Ishiguro himself has sent his Geminoid twin to deliver presentations in his stead. And also at Osaka University, a theater project puts Geminoid and human actors on the stage together to explore the emotional implications of robot and human interaction, set in a not-too-distant future where human households are staffed by robot maids. So maybe the hope of the Kibo project for a future of humans living together with robots is almost here, on Earth at least. But Kirobo's mission is the first time a person and a conversational robot will be launched outside of the Earth's orbit together. Look out for that in August of this year. For TFN, this is Annie.